Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Streets of Willow Springs. And uh, CJ Wilson and uh, his kind folks from CJ Wilson Racing have invited us out here to drive a couple of their cars. Um, this is CJ's personal uh, Porsche Cayman GT4. He's had it less than a week, and it has less than 700 miles on it. And yet he's handed me the keys to drive it on the racetrack. Um, <clears throat> some interesting thoughts on this car. It's hard to not develop a preconceived notion about the GT4 because uh, everyone's driven it except me and I as a fan of cars have read all their reviews and they all say that it's pretty much the greatest thing ever um, you know it's 385 horsepower it's about 3100 pounds it has ceramic brakes you know the GT3 front subframe all the good shit so I am kind of expecting this to be amazing and that's my preconceived uh, notion of the car um, they suggested that I go with ESC and traction control switched off, uh, dampers in sport, exhaust in loud, and um, I'm going to use the auto rev matching feature just because they said it's so good, I want to try it. So if we don't like it, we'll turn it off later, but um, I'm going to use it for now. And uh, let's hit the track. Clutch, very light. Shifter, very perfect. It does need to be said that I have, I have no street miles. I literally got in this car and drove it 100 feet to the... Uh, to the track out so give me a uh, give me a lap to get a feel for her and uh, and then we'll really uh, get on it here we go oh man immediately one half corner and perfect steering balance oh the mid-engine it just it turns in and it back follows the front brake pedals very very tight with the ceramics Not much happening below 4,000 RPM. You do have to wind it out, so let's keep it a gear lower than we would before. It feels so light on its feet, so balanced. Sounds Porsche-y. It's good. The auto blipping is excellent. I find myself heel towing just out of habit anyway. But it just makes my shifts that much more perfect. 8,000 RPM shifting. I'll just coast her through the chicane here. Oh man, real immediate in everything it does. You can get on the power pretty early and it stays very composed. Let's see if I can run it clean. Yep. A little bit of progressive understeer, and then the back end comes right around, flat to the floor. Shifting into third and second. Oh, it's easy. It's very forgiving. Look at that. Just a little lift. The back end comes right around. Oh, I shouldn't have shifted there. Ah, oh, blew that entry. Screw it. Very progressive, not going to get away from you, very predictable, very light, the seat has amazing bolstering, I can just steer with my fingertips, don't have to hold on to the, uh, to the wheel at all hardly, but because this Streets of Willow circuit is so short and the gearing is so long in this car, I'm really spending most of the track going around in second gear, let's get out of second gear. Like what happens when you hit red line, it doesn't die, it just kind of stops pulling. It doesn't really ruin your momentum. Yeah, the back end can come around if you're a little more aggressive on the throttle. Come on, lift, get down to that apex. There we go. Very nice. I'm worried about pushing off the side there. I know I probably could stay in the power better through that section, but borrowed car, dirty racetrack. Yeah, you really want to leave it in second for that corner. Lift and it rotates, yes. If you get on that power in between the first and second apex, 
and then you lift, there's the back, comes right around. The steering ratio of this car is about as perfect as it gets. Cornering perfectly flat. Stability control kind of unnecessary because it's so predictable. Great shifter, I mean really, really great shifter. just 
give myself some extra shifts for fun. The ceramic brakes showing no hint of fading. One more lap, one more lap and we'll have ourselves a little video. Little push there on the track exit. That's a funky corner without any, there's no real way to judge. I'll leave it at third here instead of going to fourth, which is probably the faster way around the track. Even though I miss out on the joys of an upshift followed by a downshift. I like that traction control off does mean traction control off. I haven't seen anything resembling invasion from the ECU at all. absolutely amazing. They were all right. Um, all the people that said the gearing was a little bit long, they're, they're all right too. And um, all the people that say that this car will probably be worth some real money someday, they're right too. And um, it's just, it's spectacular. And uh, it's very comfortable. I've had the air conditioning on this entire time. And uh, I've now put the odometer over 700 miles. CJ's GT4. It's just, it has this wonderful fluidity to it. Um, and it, it feels expensive. It feels refined and sorted. And at the same time, it's very raw and visceral. And there's a lot of feedback, but at really no expense. You know, it doesn't it doesn't beat you up. It doesn't really make you even work very hard for it. It's, it's just, it's just there and it's just got everything. So big shout out, extra special thanks to CJ Wilson for letting me drive his car. CJ Wilson racing on Instagram, CJ Wilson photo on Instagram. And uh, of course you can check them uh, racing their Cayman GT, uh, uh, excuse me, Cayman Club Sport in the Continental Tire Series. Uh, check your local listings. Now I'm going to hop out of this and I'm going to go get in the race car and we're going to see the differences between the two. See you later.